Sometimes I just can't contain myself. What am I talking about? Well, let's jump into this together and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to be sharing this with you guys. So in this quick video, I want to share with you my pillbox designer that I whipped up in OpenSKit. Actually, I did this quite a while ago. I put it on uh, Thingiverse, and I forgot about it and never published it. So I actually published it just the other day and wanted to do a video on it. So again, as I've already shared in a prior video with the newer version of OpenSCAD, you can use the customizer function inside the application to change the variables. So you don't have to worry about understanding any of the coding of OpenSCAD to get a useful product out of it. And this will be a good example. So I'll have the Thingiverse link also to the link to the uh, uh, OpenSCAD site too where I have the code so you can get it from either place. Uh, but with this, what it does is allows you to create an object with any number of sides. It can be totally round, it can be an octagon, hexagon, etc. And then what it does is it makes a matching cap that slides on here, uh, sort of like I get it right it's got a snap fit and then it's a rather tight fit so you can pop it off like that um, and it really is kind of cool so you can see the lip here and again it's got a counter lip inside here and again you just kind of slip it on there so this is really cool for printing you know if you want to print uh, you know jewelry boxes things like that this would also be interesting now obviously since this is uh, FDM uh, you know, there's layer lines in this. Uh, could be sanded out. You could use a couple different things to polish it up. Make a neat jewelry box, gift box, storage box for crafting. You name it. And again, you can set the size to whatever you want, the number of sides, and, and come up with all kinds of crazy things. Uh, you know, just by changing a couple simple variables. So I thought this was a handy addition. Um, I also, I, my intentions were originally to do this as a customizer out on Thingiverse, but I don't know if their uh, customizer thing is still having problems or not because I couldn't get it to work. But the code's out there. You can download it. You can run OpenSCAD. You can change the variables in the customizer pane and then pop out whatever type of STL you need. Uh, so with that being said, I'll have links to this down below. Uh, if you come up with any other cool ideas that uh, I could create an OpenSCAD like this, I'd be interested to hear from you guys. So let me know in the comments below. Maybe you'll see it on a future episode. With that, Swag Shop's up there. Subscribe will be over there. There'll be some other cool videos coming up over here. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.